So it turns out that the overshoot in the velocity profiles that you see is a real effect um, that you get by solving the Navier-Stokes equations with fluent um, that is missed by boundary layer theory. So let's explain the overshoot. Now boundary layer theory splits the flow into an inner flow and an outer flow. The inner flow is where the boundary layer equations are valid. In the outer flow, the boundary layer theory assumes that the boundary layer is very thin and so it's just the flow past a flat plate. However, if you think about the outer flow, as it's coming, okay, it's getting displaced, as it's moving along the, the fluid, let's say a fluid particle, it's getting displaced by the boundary layer, so it's going to accelerate. And so if you're going, so let's think about the velocity profile as you go along a line like that. So it's zero at the wall, and then it increases, and at the edge of the boundary layer, it's not one, it's slightly higher than one because of that acceleration effect. And then it has to decay to one over here. And that's what you're seeing over here. So the velocity at the boundary layer edge is slightly higher than one because the outer flow is actually the flow past the displacement thickness. And you can show this formally using second order boundary layer theory. And you can check this actually as my uh, colleague, Professor um, David Coy did. So what he did was he did the fluent laminar solution faster plat plate and that's shown in the symbols and so you get that overshoot in the velocity profile. Then what he did is he did a second solution that is uh, the inviscid solution of the for the outer flow but not the flow past the flat plate but the flow past the displacement thickness and that's shown by the solid line and you can see that inviscid solution past the displacement thickness nicely matches with the fluent solution outside the boundary layer. 